Let's make some walls. So Green Stuff World has a rolling pin, clearly, that's in my hands, and you can roll out clay and um, green stuff to make bases. And in this case, I'm going to use it to roll on styrofoam and foam core, actually, to make some terrain for my very sad, empty table so I can finally play some Fallout tabletop on it. Um, you definitely want to keep some consistent pressure when you're rolling, and I haven't yet rolled. Brace for it. Wait for it. Here we go. Almost. And we are rolling. Um, definitely consistent pressure is important, but I don't do it, uh, I'd say, like right here. It's really terrible, and you'll see it later. Uh, but, you know, whatever. Not perfect. Oh, and it is a good idea to pay attention to the um, little logo down there. Because I've rolled it on like five different walls and I had to like scuff it up or take it off or something. It was really annoying. So it came out okay, I think. It's definitely not the greatest one I've ever done, but it's really hard to do in front of the camera. It's my first video ever, so see there's a little bit of inconsistency there. The bricks kind of disappear. But uh, they look pretty good painted up, and I'll show you how to do that. It's not that hard. All you got to do is take a little bit of your generic gray paint. It doesn't matter what it is. And you just Bob Ross that thing on there. You just keep it going. Don't stop. Really get into the crevices and stuff. Hey -oh. And then, once it's all done, you take some Sanguine Base from P3. I don't know why I chose to do miniature paint for this. It, it's probably way too good. But a dark red would work. And you just paint the ever-loving hell out of this which I will not show you because it's boring and I'm bad at it. There it is. There we go. Um, you just add some of your lovely Scorn Red and I'll show you not how to paint Scorn Red because my brush strokes are terrible so it's just gonna appear. Poof! There it is. You got it. So, took some shade, none, null in the oil, pardon me, and uh, just applied that generously and with the artistic ability of an eight-year-old. And uh, yeah, just going to do that a little bit everywhere. I've heard variation thrown out in the artistic and modeling community, so I'm adding some desert dust to give it a lighter tone, like everywhere, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing, but I know that it's going to look pretty cool because I've done it before. So that was me painting it up. And uh, yeah, variation. Ta-da! Oh, yes. Nice finishing touches on this pile of garbage. But, I mean, I think it looks pretty good. It's got variation. Again, variation is key. So, I glued it onto some styrofoam and put, like, little end caps on there. Painted it all up. Put some sand on top, painted up the sand. Took out some bricks every now and then. Kind of roughed her up a bit. And, uh, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, for me not knowing what I'm doing, it looks damn good. I think. So, hey, what do I know? That's the wall I did, and that's the wall I made. Yay! Not too bad.